one company, three manager, seven seats. I would like to thank Anne, our CFO, for her presentation. We have been innovative since 1967. And today, I would like to present our new fitness band. A fitness band. And then he thinks we're innovative. Innovation. I don't want any innovation. Chris, the CEO, has hubris. He thinks his company is much better at innovation than it really is. We need some advice with innovation. Can you please help us? Certainly. What's the issue you need help with? Chris thinks that we're good at innovation, but we don't agree. Uh, probably the best way to go then is let's set up a, a call with me and the CEO. It's gorgeous. Right, this is the structure of the plan right now. This is what we need to do. This is what we're doing. This is a test phase and that's what we're done with right now. Okay, let's, let's talk about the disagreement uh, that you've been having. Uh, the question being, is your company innovative? And let's look at your latest initiative, the fitness ban. Yes, I'm really excited. Why do you feel that's innovative? Well, digital technology is the latest thing. This particular product already exists and has existed for quite a while. So, is there something about it that you're giving me with this product that I can't get elsewhere? Are you saying it's a bad product? Yeah, no, I haven't seen the product yet. But what I am doing is asking why. What is it about this product that I can't already get? I don't know. But this is where we need to start with your customers. Either the ones you already have or the ones you're hoping to get. What are you going to do for them? What are they going to get from you that's unique? Or are they going to get something that's already out there that's cheaper? If this doesn't sell, we're going to have a rough year. I'm sorry. Uh, I really am. Risk is, is one of those aspects of innovation that you have to take into account. Um, have you ever heard the saying, fail fast? Yes, but I don't like failures. No one does, uh, but even with the best of preparation, not every idea is going to be a winner. What you want to do is find a way to limit your risk and find out if something is worth pursuing bef before you've invested too much. But we keep coming back to the customer. They're the ones that are going to make or break your product, but the idea is to go into it deliberately and systematically. What do you mean? If I asked your employees about innovation, what would they say? I don't know. Whose job is it to have ideas? Is it allowed for somebody to bring an idea forward that they've had? Who decides what ideas to pursue? You need to work within your organization, with the business units, to understand, first of all, the big picture, what that innovation strategy looks like on their level, and then so on. That's a lot. And it's not even the hard part. What is the hard part? Convincing everyone, top to bottom, that you're serious about this. It needs to become part of the culture of your organization. Otherwise, it's going to be a passing fad that will fade away in a few months down the road. So you say that we have to change the way we do innovation? Yes. I have to admit that we failed in innovation for a long time. Hubris is a huge challenge if you want to improve. 
And what do you think our customers really need? I think we need to find their passion.